primary and secondary information for profiling of Gram Panchayat to develop INRM plan under Manrega. In this presentation, you will be able to understand about the primary and secondary information required to make a profile the Gram Panchayat which will help you to prepare an integrated resource management or INRM plan under Manrega. Brief information of Gram Panchayat. Here you get basic information related to the Gram Panchayat such as name, location, area, latitude, longitude, number of villages, average rainfall, water requirement, ground water situation, watershed, etc. Social economic profiles. Social and economic information about a GP is an important contributor while developing an INRM plan. Population and households information. Village-wise total population and classified household information is shown here. With this information under Mahatma Gandhi Narega scheme, the required number of potential beneficiaries are identified and works for them can also be planned. Household details. In this type of information, we come to know about family-wise categories such as BPL, landless, small farmer, marginal farmer, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. Under Mahatma Gandhi Narega, these household categories are given priority on the basis of watershed approach. All these families can be befitted. This information provides the necessary figures for the planning of agricultural works on these prioritized beneficiaries. Mahatma Gandhi Narega related information. Here we try to understand about the performance of Mahatma Gandhi Narega scheme at the village level in last couple of years. Mahatma Gandhi Narega card holders. Under Mahatma Gandhi Narega scheme, the number of card holders are shown here. The annual planning and labor budget are determined on the basis of this information. Progress of Mahatma Gandhi Narega in Gram Panchayat during last four years. The information about performance and progress made in last couple of years is important for determining the present situation and possible potential of works and related budget at the Gram Panchayat level. Completed and ongoing works under Mahatma Gandhi Narega scheme. Here we get information about completed and ongoing common and individual NRM and non-NRM works under Mahatma Gandhi Narega scheme. This will help you to identify the potential tasks and avoid duplication on new works. Natural Resource Management or NRM Profile Natural resources play an important role for integrated development and livelihood of any area. This information can also be used as baseline numbers of a specific Gram Panchayat. Land use area in hectares. Here we get information about various types of land uses which is essential for the planning proper use of available land for developing pastures, orchards, etc. on wastelands. Barren Land Details Here we get information about barren lands available in a GP. Based on this, appropriate activities can be planned for the development of barren lands. Natural Resource Based Livelihood Profiles such information will help you to plan for increased natural resource-based livelihoods and implementation of NRM works. This information can also be used as baseline numbers. Gram Panchayat's Area Under Crops Here we get information about Gram Panchayat's area under various crops and productivity in rainy, 
winter and summer seasons. Based on this information, the plan for deserved farmers for the supply of available water for irrigation can be developed. Livestock Sensors in Gram Panchayat From the perspective of livelihoods in the rural areas, livestock has an important role. Information related to livestock helps the selection of related activities of during the INRM planning such as the development of grassland, provision for the supply of drinking water facilities, etc. Details of current sources of water supply in Gram Panchayat. It provides information about the current sources of water supply will help in planning the proper utilization and maintenance of these sources and as per the required demand of water. Such information will be also lead you in making plans for alternative water sources as well. Water Budget of Gram Panchayat under Mahatma Gandhi Narega and Mission Water Conservation, the availability of water as per the requirement for drinking and irrigation has to be ensured during planning and implementation of NRM interventions in the Gram Panchayat. Drinking Water Requirement Here, the information about the water requirements for humans and livestock is calculated and selection of the relevant works for the supply of this demand in INRM plan can be included on priority. Water requirement for crops all seasons. This information about the requirement of water for various crops grown in the village. During INRM plan development, identification and planning of desired irrigation structures can be decided based on local conditions. Description of the slope area Here, the land under Gram Panchayat has been classified on the basis of its slope. According to watershed approach, selection and implementation of works are planned in order from ridges to the valley area. That is why understanding about slope is very important. Flow of rain water in Gram Panchayat. Here, the amount of runoff in an area during one year is calculated by Strange's table method. The volume of runoff has been calculated according to the average rainfall and slope of a specific area. Under INRM plan formation, appropriate activities are to be selected for the storage and management of this runoff. Amount of water stored in the harvesting structures in the Gram Panchayat. Here, the information about the existing harvesting structures and their capacity of water storage, which helps to estimate water budget and assessing the need of additional water harvesting structures to meet the water deficit. Water budget of Gram Panchayat. Here, the information regarding the water budget of the Gram Panchayat has been presented. Depending upon water requirement for humans, livestock and crops and the volume of runoff in Gram Panchayat, the analysis of surface water availability is done. Based on water budget, the kind and quantity of the required harvesting structures can be planned easily. Scoping of INRM works Here, in the context of all the previous information analyzed for the Gram Panchayat, the probability of empowering the households under special categories, the strengthening the natural resources base and livelihoods based on the local conditions has been assessed factually. Details of proposed works After the assessment of completed works in the past few years under Manrega and other schemes, Prioritized INRM works should be identified with the involvement of the community keeping in mind the physical conditions of the area. Identified works are to be analyzed on economic, environmental and social aspect on scientific perspective before prioritization and planned accordingly. 
the identified works are listed and planned on watershed principles, whose execution will be done in a systematic manner. Therefore, an annual action plan would be prepared under Manrega for the coming years in a sequential order that follows watershed principles.